World Gym Underwood Brisbane. Like I promised in the last video that I'll bring you a gym review video of World Gym. Amazing gym. I really loved it. I was like a kid in the candy shop. I just could not uh, stop myself from doing a big huge workout. That is a functional area, a CrossFit type area. You can lots of bars there, a squat rack and you can do some cardio circuits. Sauna. I didn't go to sauna but I believe I will go one day if you want to have recovery. Looks amazing this gym, uh, great lockers, uh, didn't use them but uh, and it also has a posing room, uh, bodybuilders use it. I do think a lot of professional bodybuilders come and do their workouts here, so great, great service and lots and lots of squat racks, that's my main thing, a whole area and then the artwork of Arnold, Franco Colombo, Rock and Ronda Ricey, yeah, a lady in there. So those are the benches which are fixed to the floor for those who do heavy squats like me. So that no one can ask me, hey, uh, can I have that bench please to do some hip thrust? That's what it used to happens to me in other gyms. Yeah, I do, we, us people who do heavy lifting do need something to sit down and just sit there for five minutes. And and that's the shot of the rest of the gym for, for uh, gym goers. Those are the deadlift platform. That is where I took my overdose of deadlift. I did way too many deadlifts. So deadlift basically is, is a very taxing lift, a compound lift, where the bar is on the floor and it is dead. I won't go into the technicality, but it is best that deadlifts are done heavier than lighter, which means 80 to 90% of your one RM. And it's best that it is done for five reps. It should not be done for cardio. It is only there for strength exercises and it should not be done at higher volume because then you will be lifting it lighter and it will not have its effect. The main effect of deadlift is to get stronger. I'll come back to that later on. So this was my snatch drills. I love doing overhead squats but before that I start doing some snatches which I have brought recently. I'm not going to do classic snatch where you catch the bar in a squat. What I will be doing is called power snatch or a muscle snatch where the bar is on the floor and in one movement it goes boom up. So I will only stick to the weight like 60 or maybe 70 kg at the most. But overall I love doing overhead squats because it absolutely warms me up. I think it will be true for anyone because your spine is under vertical force and your arms are fully active and you're squatting. So the entire body has to wake up, it has to work and, and I love it for that purpose. It just not just warms you up, it hots you up in a way. So you are fully aroused for whatever you're going to do next. I made sure that I wasn't very tired doing this so I did uh, maybe two or three power snatches, uh, like a one rep and I did so just like that, I was happy with that. The bar slowed down at the top but I'm not being too technical. So from here on I proceeded to deadlift and what happened that uh, I did at least 10 sets of doubles deadlift which is 20 reps which is way too many. I, I shot myself with the camera, with the mobile camera in vertical and horizontal for each set so I did doubles of them starting with 120 or something. I came home and I was I was nearly sick. I was a, I was dead as a dog and I realized that not only this session where I did way too many deadlift I have been pushing myself from the last four to six weeks. I was really enjoying my time off as you guys know and on few occasions I did two workouts in a day. So all this extra stress your body is going to tell you in one way or other and it's important to listen to the body. It is important to push yourself hard but also to know when you have to slow down. So this week and maybe a few days next week will be my deload week where I will be doing lifting and exercises and whatnot but I will not be doing them for very high reps otherwise I will crash, I may have injuries and I may lose motivation. So it's very important to program yourself that way. It is not suggested that someone does 20 reps but I am I consider myself an intermediate or an advanced lifter. 
So every now and then to expose myself to a very high volume, it is okay. It is okay because I had two days off after this. So I really do plan my days off accordingly. And I smash myself when I have two or three or four days off. Now, this week, I will be doing doubles or triples heavy. And then for other bodybuilding exercise that I have for my chest, like bench press, uh, flies, I will be doing normal volume, but I will not go full on doing higher reps for higher volume. So as a result, 220 kg deadlift, I've done it many, many times. I've done it for three, four, three reps, four reps, and it didn't move. It just didn't happen. There you go. I could not move it much. So that can happen as well, but I'm, uh, it doesn't bother me. Anyway, guys, hope you like this video. I'll continue to bring more videos to you. Please like, subscribe, ask me any questions. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. So that's the wrap for the World Gym Underwood in Brisbane. Thanks, guys. Bye.